Jeffrey Brown is running for his son's life. He's training for the Boston Marathon, where he and his buddies will raise some $30,000 for neurofibromatosis research. Anything that I can do to help uh, raise money, to help one day find a cure, I'm going to do whatever I can. Jeffrey Brown is one of hundreds of loyal volunteers dedicated to finding a cure for neurofibromatosis, a disease that most people have never heard of. I became involved 20 years ago when my daughter was very ill with neurofibromatosis. And at the time, when I tried to find out information about neurofibromatosis, there was none. And all our pediatrician could tell us was that our daughter had NF and that she could possibly develop tumors of the nerves as she got older. And he said, go home and don't worry about it. Well, of course, I did go home and worry about it. For some diagnosed with NF, like Nancy Brown, what little their doctors knew about the disease wasn't reassuring. And he just happened to mention to me, he said, oh, you have NF, but don't go home and read about it because it will just scare you. It was quite a shock when I read in Time magazine that the movie and play and book about the elephant man was linked to neurofibromatosis. And I uh, had visions of my daughter looking like the elephant man, and it was, it was just terrifying. And as it turns out, the uh, Joseph Merrick, the man who was called the elephant man, did not have neurofibromatosis. He had something even rarer called Proteus syndrome. But Unfortunately, for many years, people who had NF thought that they, they ha that is what they had. That initial confusion caused many patients and their families to fear the worst, but it made Karen Peluso determined to learn more. She took her daughter to Massachusetts General Hospital, where she found some of the world's leading experts on NF. Today, she works closely with such NF experts, including Dr. Robert Martuza. Uh, neurofibromatosis is a, a genetic disorder. Uh, in other words, it is carried in the genes and can be passed on from a parent to a child and on through the generations. And it causes a number of problems. Uh, the most common and troubling ones are tumors that occur in the nervous system, in the brain, in the nerves of the eye, the nerves of hearing, uh, the spinal cord, and the nerves that go down into the arms and legs. Uh, it also can cause tumors on the nerve endings that are on the skin that can cause serious cosmetic problems. Um, it can cause problems in the bone structure, whether it be in the long bones of the uh, legs uh, or in the bones of the face with facial deformity. NF is present from birth. There may be some light brown spots on the skin or no symptoms at all. Yet a diagnosis of NF can be devastating for many parents. You don't know where the tumors are going to pop up. Um, we worry about malignancies because there's a four time greater chance of them develop malignancies. Um, but we hope for the best. I mean, we certainly have fears. Yeah. Often there's guilt. Uh, the parents think they caused this, and it's very important to tell them they did not. Uh, in many cases, um, children have what we call a, a spontaneous mutation for the disorder or a new mutation. What that means is the parent didn't even have it. It's just, uh, it happened. Neurofibromatosis is actually a group of disorders. Brittany has NF type 1. She has undergone brain surgery and has lost the vision in her right eye. Her dad remembers his anxiety. Not knowing, never mind, not even ever hearing of NF, what it was all about. Um, very frustrated, very frustrated what the future would, would um, in detail, um, what the current day would, would detail, and it was very frustrating. There are uh, certain uncertainties about this. Uh, if we see a child for the first time that has a few of these neurofibromas, we cannot necessarily say that it's going to be somebody who has very few the rest of their life or somebody who, in whom it may become very more profound and more cosmetically disturbing. Karen Peluso's daughter was treated at Massachusetts General Hospital. And once I was assured that she was getting the best medical attention, I felt like we had to do more and we had to create awareness about NF and we had to raise funds to promote research because at the time there was no research being done on NF. 
no one cared about it. No one was interested in studying it. In 1988, Karen and her husband helped to found Neurofibromatosis Incorporated. Our mission is to find the cure for neurofibromatosis by creating awareness and funding scientific research. Our focus now is to go on a, a public awareness campaign so that people know more about it. After all, NF affects four times as many people as have cystic fibrosis and muscular dystrophy combined. The information that we have learned about neurofibromatosis even in the last decade far outweighs the information that we learned not only in the prior decade but in the prior century. NF Inc. has been in this for decades and has really supported uh, uh, NF research in a huge way. We give away small seed grants to scientists. We can't give away million dollar grants. So we give a grant that's maybe between thirty and fifty thousand dollars and that will uh, support a scientist while he, prepare, he or she prepares their document to, in their project to go for a larger grant from the National Institutes of Health or the Army. NF Inc. also does lobbying so that they've been helpful in getting government agencies and other private groups to give money for research of NF. So although, as you say, the group may be relatively small, the group uh, may have relatively fixed amounts of money, that money can be leveraged for the benefit of neurofibromatosis. It has been essential to some of the research we've done and some of the research my colleagues have done. Dr. Martuza leads a team of researchers, including Dr. Andreas Kurz, who is studying midkine, a natural compound which causes tumor cells to grow. Research is key to understanding neurofibromatosis and ultimately to treating neurofibromatosis. Because neurofibromatosis involves tumors and the nervous system, NF research findings yield results useful to researchers studying cancer, neurological disorders, learning disabilities, and other problems. A very small investment in NF research has produced great results which will benefit millions of people in the general population, even those who, who are not affected by NF. But Neurofibromatosis Incorporated raises most of the money it disperses to scientists through fundraising events like golf tournaments and charity runs, staffed by volunteers like Jeff Brown. I'm proud of my dad for going in the Boston Marathon, and I love him. <laughs> Neurofibromatosis Incorporated is proud to be a highly respected nonprofit and has been featured in the prestigious catalog of philanthropy for its low overhead and efficient operations. Now they will assist Dr. Martuza and other scientists to realize a vision, a neurofibromatosis center at Harvard Medical School. I think what it will do is bring together in a cohesive fashion a working group of people that are interested in all aspects of neurofibromatosis from clinical care to research and to translate one to the other in a seamless fashion in the most efficient way possible. While the creation of the NF Center will bring us closer to finding a cure for neurofibromatosis, close is not good enough. Now more than ever, NF Inc. needs your support to turn the dream of a cure into reality. I'm Susan Warnick. Thank you for supporting the efforts of Neurofibromatosis Incorporated.